MTG and me, this is Charles, and we're going to take a look at the Magic the Gathering Merfolk vs. Goblins dual deck. Alright, let's go. So as far as dual decks go, I think this one's actually one of the better ones we've had recently. But at least in this case, there's a bunch of stuff that's uh, either modern playable or uh, make really good additions to Merfolk or Goblin tribal decks. Uh, and I think it's actually probably worth the $20 purchase. I mean, I seriously contemplated buying multiple copies of these just to get some of the key cards in here. Uh, it's only because I went through the collection and found I already have like a playset of Marrow Regeries that I didn't really do that. Uh, so, as with most dual decks, it includes two 60 card decks, 10 token cards, uh, two deck boxes, a strategy insert, a quick reference card, and two spin deck counters. Now, uh, let's tear this open and see what the key cards are. Apparently, we don't get a blue and a red spin down counter, uh, despite the box and uh, what I saw a couple people get at the store. It must be random. And unfortunately, I got a black and white one, which I don't really think matched that well. Uh, however, we did get those two deck boxes we talked about. These things are slightly better than the old style narrow ones. You could technically fit sleeve cards in here. Kind of bummed that I didn't get a red and blue spin down counter. So we do get these. A foil master of waves and a foil warren instigator. One for each of the decks. Pretty nice. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the Merfolk deck. So our key rares, we got a Harbinger of the Tides, Master of the Pearl Trident. Um, so this is one of the ones that makes you almost think about buying multiple copies of it if you don't already have it. Um, it runs a few bucks. We got a Tide Binder Mage. Uh, see some sideboard play, I guess, in modern Merfolk. Uh, might even see some mainboard in some deck lists. We got a Wake Thrasher. And a Merfolk Sovereign. Again, a playable card, I think, in Merfolk Tribal. The fact that you can make Merfolk unblockable and it acts like a traditional lore for three mana is good. We got a rare Engulf the Shore, a Misdirection, a Mind Spring, and a Cold Eyed Selkie. So all told, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten rares. Uh, it's better than previous decks. I think they increased the rare count recently. Tide Warrior, Root Water Hunter. Let's see if there's anything else useful in here. I think Stream Bed Aquatex is a pretty reasonable card. There's your Marrow Regery. That's a good include. Claustrophobia seems like a weird include, but sure. Uh, as far as tokens go, we get four elemental tokens to go with that Master of Waves, and then the wall to go with the Source Room. So all in all, it looks like a fun little deck to play. Uh, maybe Julie and I will get a chance to play it later. Maybe we'll do a Let's Play with these guys. I think we should. And maybe with all the supplementary products when they come out. It's probably a good idea. Alright, let's move on to the Goblins deck. So we start with the Goblin Diplomat. Ah, Goblin Rabble Master. It's pretty solid. We've got a Goblin Lord, Goblin Chieftain. Then we've got a big Goblin, a Goblin Goon. And goblin Raise Runners, Cranko, Mob Boss, Perpetual Goblin Commander Favorite. A Relentless Assault, which basically doubles up your combat phases. Brittle Effigy. And a Goblin Char Belcher. I like the Goblin War Driver, he's pretty good. A Gem Palm Incinerator. So we got two copies of Tar Fire. Tribal. A Goblin Grenade, solid. And of course, five Goblin Tokens. So that's the dual deck Merfolks versus Goblins. As I said, I think it's a pretty solid dual deck this time. Probably worth the $20. If you can get it even cheaper, you get them on clearance uh, a couple months from now. Uh, definitely worth picking up. And hey, look at that, Fred. Hi, Fred. We haven't seen you in a while. So, yeah. Merfolks versus Goblins. And Fred's tail on the camera. Alright, guys. And girls. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you could help us by clicking that like button and leaving a comment. 
and to support the channel, please click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching!